Welcome to the unveiling of the Aquila 28 Malakai Power Catamaran. So in working with Kirk Clark out in the island of Malakai, what really was important to us, obviously, is building a robust boat that can withstand the sea conditions in Hawaii. Why that's important is because of their sea size and their sea state, that correlates to pretty much anywhere in the United States where we're going to have, or around the world, it's going to be very difficult to find a, a, a location that is more rough or more treacherous than the Hawaiian Islands. And they can get very big seas there, very confused state, big swells. And so in that development, what you're going to notice when you walk to the boat, you'll notice how wide the beam is, how wide the engines are apart, and then our bridge tunnel clearance is over a foot high. This boat's obviously been equipped with outriggers, which have been installed aftermarket, but they look absolutely fantastic on her. Right now we have her set up for fishing, so we did a little fishing video um, this morning. Seas were rolling at about four to five footers, and uh, we put her through her paces and had an absolute blast on her. So what you're gonna notice as you're walking up to her, down at the transom, you're gonna see, obviously you're gonna see the width of your, of your hulls and then your bridge tunnel clearance. Okay, stepping aboard here, you're gonna notice this is nice level height dock to our gunnel, so it's a very easy step on. You're gonna notice fishing rod holders, four on each gunnel, running down the deck. And also you're gonna notice you have non-skid on top of your gunnel, which is very nice to keep you sure-footed. We've got a live 30 gallon live well tank, easy flip lid. You can see we're obviously out fishing today. We didn't run through all of our baits, but uh, they'll be released back to mother nature. On top of that, We've got a nice tackle box storage location. Great different setup here. Central place for your tools or additional line and lures. To my right, we've got a flip up lid that has our fresh water wash down. So when you're done messing with your baits or you need to, need to rinse your hands, you can simply open that up, wash your hands, and you're ready to go. One of the really cool things about our transom area is aft seating. And we have a flip up bolster, simple handle, you pull this down, and now you've got a great seat back here. Enough for one person, and you also have it on the starboard side. Same identical seat. When you're not in use, you can simply tuck it back in, and then you've got all your clearance for your fishing. So tons of room back here, you've got tons of deck working space for your fishing fans. Um, lots of space, you're also gonna notice your gunnels, they're at a very safe height, um, great knee height, just above the knee, so you can really feel locked in when you're leaning over. Another great feature in the aft of the boat is we have a pull away that can be stored in the console area, and I'll get to that in a minute. So one thing that we have is a great aft swim platform or fish fighting deck if you need to additional place to land a fish. And you'll notice that when I step back here, there's just a small step, about three inches, and then it levels off to a nice Nice big platform back here. So one of the great things about our leaning post is the addition of extra handrails, as well as our composite leaning post supports. So we've introduced the composite hardtop supports, which make it more relevant today. On top of that, you also have fishing rod holders. You also have your kingfish out, out supports. And like I said earlier, we've uh, put on outriggers on board this boat. As you move forward, you're also going to notice we've got tons of speakers. This boat, as equipped, has been set up with a pre-fusion premium audio system. On my right, we have additional fish box storage. So tackle storage in here, two nice big deep wells for keeping your tackle storage. Easy to use clip. In terms of our seating for our captain or co-pilot or guests, we have really done a very, very nice job in our upholstery. So all of our upholstery is done in-house at Aquila, and they do a fantastic job. So it's very weather resistant, stays cool, um, holds up over time, very durable, and nothing, we wouldn't want anything less having durable upholstery on a robust boat. Above that, we also have cup holders. So you have four cup holders across. Over on the starboard side, you also have your fresh water intake so underneath that feeds directly to our freshwater tank coming forward into into the master captain area or navigation area we've got our console again with fantastic handrails to grab so whether you're standing at steering um, or if you're just standing here or both you have 
additional hand supports here to grab onto in case you're in any rough conditions on, that you're going through on the water. You obviously have your nice tilt control um, steering mechanism. You've got your keys, kill switch, and then your throttle. So equipped on this boat, boat the Aquila 28 Molokai Catamaran comes standard with dual 150 Mercury outboards. You can upgrade that to two, two by 200 horsepower Mercury outboards, um, which are white in color, or if you elect, you can go black also. So what we've got on here on board this Aquila 28 is our base electronics package, which includes one LCD uh, Raymarine. Underneath that, we've got all nice push button controls. Um, so very easy to use, very well laid out, very good ergonomics on board here. In addition to that, we've got two cup holders. Right below that, we've got a nice glove box. We have USB connections in here. To the left, we've got our windshield wiper, and then we've got our, our navigation lights. One of the coolest things, because I'm not very tall, um, so one of the things I always like to do is try to get up as high as I can just to make sure I can see the entire boat sometimes, and that comes in handy when you're docking or different scenarios. You don't always need to be that high, but when you do, it's nice to have something in place on board a boat. So one thing that Aquila is really incorporated based on feedback is this drop-down platform. So it gives you about an additional four inches to step up on, um, which really gives you perfect line of sight clearance from your aft all the way to your bow. Now, I don't personally don't like to be standing on this too much when I'm actually out driving the boat um, because I'm a little bit too high. I prefer to have a little bit lower center of gravity. So in the times that I am out in the water navigating at speed, I normally flip this up and that way I feel a little bit more tucked in in the console area. But either way, it works. It's a great functional tool to have on board. Um, for those that are a little bit vertically challenged. We've got our VHF above. We also have our outrigger controls tucked away nicely. And then one of the really cool features on board um, is our high-tech composite posts, support posts for our hardtop, in addition to our two side windshields and our front main windshield. This gives you excellent protection from inclement weather or wind or rain. So. When you need a windshield wiper, great to have. The Aquila 28 Molokai Catamaran has one included. As we move forward into the bow area now, one of the really neat features about the Aquila 28 is how we've maximized the use of space on board. And one of the areas that we wanted to focus on with the Aquila 28 is not just purely a fishing vessel, although she is a fishing boat primarily, but she's just as equally a family boat and spending time out at the sandbar, or the beach, or on the lake visiting loved ones or friends and family. One of my favorite places to sit on board here, other than when I'm driving, is sitting up here in this seat. So you got room for two, but it's really a really cool seat to sit at. What we found that we really needed to incorporate was a head on board the boat, or a place to go in and get dressed, or just a place to store additional equipment on board. Tons of storage on board, but if you need to put some bigger, bulkier items, this is a great place to do it. So as we open up this, you'll get a sense of the idea of the space in, in board here. We've got a little portalette in board. We also have our picnic table, which slots in just here. So right now we don't have it in place, but she's tucked away on a pedestal leg that simply clips into place and then you have a nice place to sit around sit around and enjoy, enjoy your drinks or lunch. One of the things you're gonna notice is plenty of headroom for me. Obviously, tons of headroom, probably enough in here for a six foot person plus. Um, you also have ample knee height or knee width room, whether facing the bow or facing the side. One of the great features that Aquila really pays attention to, not only in the 28 Molokai cap, but all the way up to our 70 foot luxury power cap, is our electronics runs and making sure that everything is nice, clean, tucked away. You're gonna see that we have nice connections to our transducer. Our electrical runs are all very clean and tidy. We also have a little hatch in here. So if you need some additional air in here, um, you can open that up and you'll get some pass through air. Okay, one, as we move further towards the bow, what you're gonna notice again, you've got your great seating directly in front of the console. To your port, to my port and my starboard, you've got additional recliners, and then you've got a bench seat that runs across the width of the boat. Um, really great little areas underneath this. On the port and the starboard side, you've got coolers, insulated coolers, 
So if you want to throw your drinks in here or your sandwiches, great place to put them tucked away out of everybody's way. Um, in addition to that, if you're not using it as a family boat for the day, let's say you're heading offshore and going fishing and you're potentially going to have fish on board and so forth, you can remove all of these uh, upholstery cushions easily, put them on the dock or at the house or in the truck for the day. In addition to that, you can remove your backrest. That way it's going to give you ample, <clears throat> you're going to have ample walking distance around. You're not going to have any obstructions with any upholstery. And you've got non-skid underneath, non-skid FRP underneath, so it's easy to step up from your main deck onto your seating area and then up onto your fore deck. Okay, moving up to our bow area, what you're going to notice, we've got a great casting net area. It's big, it's probably about four, close to four feet wide. Um, easy to step up here. You've got oversized pop-up cleats, so when you're not using them, they fold down so they're not a trip hazard uh, or toe, toe stubber as I like to call them, but they tuck away nice and flush with the deck. In addition to that, on the port and starboard side, you've got locker storage. All of this drains directly outboard. You also, in your center locker, we have our anchor. And repeat on the port side, you've got additional storage in here, which today we have our throw net stored in there. There is an option on the Aquila 28 um, if you want if you want to add a windlass, we do have a windlass option that can be tucked in and included on the Aquila 28. But depends on your fishing preference. Some don't like windlass, some do. So we really leave that up to you as, a, as our customer and our family member to uh, choose what best suits your boating needs. The really great thing about here is the cast netting. We use it a lot when we go fishing with our family. Um, we sit up here and my nephew, um, it's a great cast net thrower, and he sits up here. We put him in the right location. He tosses the net, pulls it up. We drop it straight into the live well in the back of the boat, and off we go. So full of live bait. Works fantastic, keeps the boat clean. Um, really great area to do your work as, as a throw netter up here. Standing on the bow of the boat, looking aft, one of the nice features on board the boat, you're going to see the Razor Lumitech floodlight. So if you're heading out on the water and you need to find your channel markers or you're looking for bait fish at night or early morning dawn, really great light to have, search light to have on board. Underneath that, we've also got a nice working deck space light. So to light up your entire deck up here, if you're working in the evening, out fishing or out with friends, or if you're working pre-dawn catching your bait fish. So really great, nice lights to have on board the boat. As we move further aft in our main deck level, We've got dry storage or additional very large storage uh, lined bins on our main deck. Followed aft of that, we've got two fish boxes, one on each side, very large, oversized. So plenty of storage for your fish um, on your catch for the day, or if you just want to load them up with ice and drinks and whatnot, or store what you need to have stored. So in closing, I really want to thank you for joining me on this adventure on the new Aquila 28 Molokai Power Catamaran. One of the most impressive things to me about the boat is simply her running out in the water. I've been on a lot of boats in my life. I've never been on a boat um, that cuts through the water like she does. The design that Kirk Clark and the Aquila design team have done on this Aquila 28 is really bar none. It's uh, impeccable out on the water. It's a durable boat, robust boat. Takes on big seas, light seas, um, super fuel efficient and jumps out of the hole shot very easily. If you'd like to learn more about the Aquila 28 Molokai Power Catamaran, please visit your local Marine Max store, or if you're an international client, please locate your nearest international Aquila dealer and contact them. Or you can learn more at aquilaboats.com. Thanks again for joining me on the viewing of the beautiful and robust Aquila 28 Molokai Power Catamaran.